everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nazek Lidershia, back with another video. This video is an Amazon stock analysis, because I figured, why not? We all know Amazon is the one of the greatest companies ever, with outstanding financials and growing outlandishly. So before we begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor, and we should always do your own due diligence, and we should supporting part of an investment scheme. Let's get started. Okay, so here's our overview here in Google Finance. I absolutely love Google Finance. I'm not sponsored by them, but still, I love them because of they have financials, news, comparing. I absolutely love it. So Amazon currently is trading at $3,306.09. I know it's pretty expensive, but I feel that even if we just put like buy one stock, it's good enough and it gives us quite a bit of earning. For like me as like a school student, I feel that gives me quite enough earning. So the ticker symbol is AMZN. You guys probably already know this. The PE ratio is 57.67. It's lower than the, than the stock market price, but stock market price, the price of their stock their share. But it's actually it's significantly higher than others. PE ratio, which shows that the stock is undervalued and has great growth potential, yet investors are willing to pay for this. So there are a multiple catalysts that I want to discuss for Amazon's continuing growth. Amazon could be adding department stores, what it means for the stock. E-commerce giant Amazon is considering adding department stores to its list of business ventures. Reports indicate each store could be a about 30,000 square feet in size, with the first few planned to open in California and Ohio. Amazon already has a physical footprint through its new Whole Foods market stores. However, those mainly sell groceries. Let me tell you, Whole Foods is cool. It's so good. You guys shouldn't, if you guys never visited, which I hope you have, don't make me cry if you haven't. Please visit them. <laughs> They're really good. The newly added stores will more likely carry clothing and other items. Amazon has some difficulty selling profitably online. Moreover, the new stores can act as pickup and return hubs for online orders at Amazon.com. I find that that's really, really innovative and smart. Good job, Amazon. Moreover, they can act as pickup and return hubs. Before we used to wonder how to return from Amazon, I think this is going to make it a thousand times easier and this will help Amazon continue to grow in the near future and practically forever. I'm really bullish on Amazon, but I'm not a financial advisor, so you don't have to listen to me. Do your own research. So Amazon, NVIDIA, and Salesforce stocks popped up today. Why? So they popped up basically because investors rotated back into high quality growth stocks because you know there's security in that so barons highlighted amazon's attractive growth prospects in e-commerce cloud computing digital advertising logistics and healthcare in a bullish report on friday with amazon's share price treading water over the past year barons writers eric slavitz and max Cherney noted that amazon's current market capitalization could arguably be justified by the value of amazon web services alone I obviously feel that this is going to grow forever because I remember the time where it was $1,000 and that wasn't very long back. Growth at Amazon Web Services is accelerating and revenue from the unit could hit an annualized $100 billion by 2023. So it's insuring said. Just to put it in perspective, their market cap is $1.668 trillion. It's like bigger than anything. Valuing that a business say 15 times sales, most cloud application companies fetch higher valuations than that, gives you a market cap of 1.5 trillion. Meaning that investors are getting Amazon's e-commerce business and this NASA advertising business almost for free. So restating valuing the business at that say 15 times sales. So 15 times sales, and 100 billion by 2023, just 15 times. And they're basically, investors are getting Amazon's e-commerce basically for free then. 
Okay, that's another great catalyst about why Amazon is growing because people already trust them. And so they're gonna just dive deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's also listed on Motley Fool's five perfect stocks to buy right now on number one, right here. Wait, wait, there it is. The Fang stock for a smart way to put $10,000 to work in the stock market. The final perfect stock to buy right now is Amazon. Kingpin, Kingpin when it comes to e-commerce. Approximately zero point, approximately 40 cents of every $1 spent online this year will root through Amazon's marketplace. Can you believe it? This dominance has helped the company sign up 200 million people globally to a prime membership. Since retail margins are generally low, Amazon has leaned on its tens of billions of dollars in subscription fees revenue to offset retail margin weakness and undercut brick and mortar retailers on price. And that's amazing. Did you see 40 cents of a dollar is spent on Amazon? Wow. So this is on the, Amazon is also listed on Forbes and for outstanding growth. Amazon stock has gained 3% year to date and has current price of 3,306 per share. Not when that's when the article was written, which is like about today. And it has a fair value of 4,257 Trefus estimate for Amazon valuation. So Trefus is saying that this, the estimate is 1,000 more. Amazon is expected to continue growth as the shift towards online commerce continues as digitalization across organizations gain pace. And recently released quarter two 2021 results, Amazon posted revenue of 113.1 billion, up 27% year over year, while earnings increased to 15 $15.12 per diluted share compared to $10.30 per diluted share in the same period of the previous year. That's the highest amount of earnings per diluted share I've ever seen. Mostly the diluted shares are max $1 a few cents. It's really shocking. In the same period of the previous year, the company continues to make strides in live streaming as it also signed a deal with League One and friends to stream 300 plus soccer matches per season. They are really growing. So obviously, let's now look at Amazon's amazing financials. I love Google Finance, again, because it shows the financials. Otherwise, you have to go everywhere to try to find them. With this, you can just get whatever you need right here. The revenue is $113.8 billion in this quarter, which is up 27%. Net income is $7.78 billion, up 48%. Diluted EPS, 15.12 which is absolutely outstanding. I am just shocked with it, just shook. Last year, it was 15.79. So the EPS has been maintained constant and they just keep growing and growing and growing. Net profit margin is how profitable the company is. It's an increase of 16.61% in profitability. Operating income is the income gathered after all expenses before taxes and that 7.7 .7 billion was up 31.82 percent it's had a less change than last quarter but it's still changing very well it's going up 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 and through the roof which is amazing net change in cash cash has also gone down but before it was in the negatives and now it's not which is a very good news Cash on hand has also gone up 40.38 billion in this quarter before it was 33.83 billion, which is still good. Cash on hand is like liquidated cash, how much you have like right now. Cost of revenue is like cost of basically the cost of manufacturing. What, like how much money do you need to, you know, manufacture and run your business? That has gone up, but then on every company it goes up because Companies continue to grow and grow, and that's perfectly normal. So in conclusion, I am a Amazon bull, and I absolutely love how Amazon has been growing despite the fact that stock is expensive and costly to buy. I feel like still it is a great stock. 
Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it till the end of this video, if you're one of those lovely, beautiful people, thank you so much. Please be sure to comment powder puff below. And that's also your cue to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.